Yo guys, welcome back to another BISLIST video. Today we're going to be doing the pre-raid and phase 1 BIS for Affliction Warlocks and Classic Wrath. Uh, definitely been looking forward to this one as Affliction Warlock is one of the best DPS in the entire game. Definitely a class that we're going to be looking to stack. So, definitely looking forward to this. Um, here, let's just jump right into it with the talents. Now, these are the talents and glyphs that you'll be running. Uh, again, nothing out of the ordinary here. Pretty straightforward stuff. Only thing worth noting is we're only going 1 out of 2 in intensity. And for minor glyphs, the only thing that we really care about is Glyph of Drain Soul, just getting us more soul shards. Everything else, uh, it's just pretty straightforward. Um, easy stuff here. Let's show, go right into the gear, and we start off with a headpiece that is actually pretty interesting. We're going with the Titanforge Hood of Dominance. Now, this actually, despite this tooltip, it actually comes from Winter Grasp. Um, you will get this with 40 marks of Winter Grasp, which can take some time to rack up. So, if we get a short phase zero, um, you might not have enough time, uh, literally, uh, to get enough uh, marks for this before your first raid of Nax. And if that's the case, you might have to adjust your BIS list a little bit, and that's okay. Um, this is your true BIS if you have enough time to get it. However, uh, just a couple other alternative options. You could go with this headpiece from Culling a Strat Home Heroic. Uh, pretty solid here. You could also get this uh, Sunwell head. Um, this is a phenomenal headpiece. Again, both of these not providing any hit at all, which is kind of unfortunate. However, an alternative that does have hit is Hat of Wintry Doom. You could get this crafted really quick. It's pretty affordable to craft, and it's an absolutely great headpiece. Um, so definitely be looking to run one of those as your headpiece for pre-raid. Next up is your neck. Um, going with Enriched uh, Burnished Gold Changed, Encircling Burnished Gold Changed. This just comes from Emblem of Heroism, 25 uh, Emblems, easy peasy. Uh, your best shoulders are coming from Sunwell. The Sunwell Shoulders Amos of the Convoker. Um, coming from Twins. Try to get your hands on this before um, Wrath comes out. Otherwise, you're going to have to be using uh, one of these other options, like Dark Runic Mantle. Still, extremely comparable. Very similar items. Uh, you really aren't missing out on a whole lot here. And another option is Runecaster's Mantle, but uh, we tend to lean towards Dark Runic Mantle for this setup. Uh, your best cloak is by far Deathshell Cloak. Now, this is going to be a fortune to get crafted, but it is absolutely worth it, as you're really not replacing it um, until you get Pennant Cloak. Um, and then you're, we're going with your tier chest here. Another decent chest is definitely the Spell Weave Robe, crafted by Taylors. There's some stamina on it, not that that matters, but overall, like we're just looking for the tier, so uh, tier is good because we really do want the uh, four-piece uh, eventually, so go for the tier. Uh, for Bracers, we're going with the Cuffs of the Winged uh, Levitation, coming from Oculus Heroic. Now, for weapon setup, you could potentially go for the two-hand uh, Great Staff of the Nexus, coming... Oh, not that one. I'm sorry. Uh, Staff of Draconic Combat. They look very similar. <laughs> uh, coming from Oculus Heroic, it is just uh, not as good as this setup. Um, we're going with Curse Lich Blade, uh, because we do like that hit, as well as the offhand uh, from Emblems, which gives us hit as well. Um, two really good setups here. This is going to give you the most bang for your buck. And of course, we're going with the tier gloves, um, getting that two piece uh, together. And of course, you're getting these from Emblems of Heroism. And then again, Emblems of Heroism, we're getting our belt uh, slot taken care of. Nice amount of hit haste and spell power here. Now for legs, we do have a, some flexibility here on the legs, but our best in slot is definitely going to be coming from Sunwell as we get three gem sockets from these pants. So try to get your hands on them before uh, Wrath comes out. Um, another option could also be these pants also coming from Sunwell, but why take those when you can get these uh, from Growing Strife? Um, another option could potentially be, where is it? This one, Breaches, Breaches of the Collar. Uh, this comes from Utgard Keep Heroic. Uh, pretty decent setup. Uh, most of the time you're gonna see something like this, especially in a private server scene when we don't have time to get the Sunwell pants together. So this is a a pretty decent choice that we go with oftentimes and you'll even see some people go with the halls of lightning heroic pants um even though it has crit instead of haste um it's just pretty comparable items all, all in all now your bits is going to be coming from uh for boots for uh coming from warmer Accord exalted uh, we go with these boots and put nitro boots on them easy peasy your two best rings are definitely banned the guile and the uh ring coming out of utgard keep heroic um, not a lot of uh, decision to be made here. Pretty easy, straightforward choice. Um, I will say that 
uh, Signet of the Kirin Tor is a great option. If you just happen to have a boatload of gold laying around, you can purchase this if you'd like. And you can also get the Argent Crusade Exalted Ring to hold you over until you get these two rings gathered from your heroics, because sometimes they can be a bit of a hassle to obtain as healers and caster DPS both want these rings, so they're pretty contested. Now for trinkets, we're definitely going with Sundial of the Exiled. Uh, Forge Ember ends up being our best overall DPS increase. What's nice about Forge Ember is this equip actually procs pretty consistently for us, at least on the private server scene. So it's something we'd like to test uh, come beta. Um, but if we aren't using Forge Ember, we're likely using something like Mark of the War Prisoner, especially if maybe we're missing some hit, like if we weren't able to get the Wintergrasp Helm. Uh, Mark of the War Prisoner is a pretty decent option. It's a DPS decrease, but that hit is super juicy as we definitely need that hit. Um, an alternative option as well from Mark of the War Prisoner and uh, Forge Ember is also going to be our Shifting Naru Sliver. Now, of course, this is really only good if we know that we can stand still for a boss fight and get the most out of it. Um, in terms of which is going to be better between Shifting Naru Sliver and Forge Ember, um, it's typically going to be Forge Ember because, again, that proc rate is just really, really nice, usually procking right at the beginning of a fight, um, whereas Shifting Naru Sliver could potentially put your uh, Engineering Gloves on a short uh, cooldown, and if that happens, then that would be a really unfortunate and uh, not very desirable interaction. Um, however, if that's not the case, then maybe there's a chance that Shifting Nari Sliver becomes e even better. So it's something to keep out, uh, keep in mind. Uh, otherwise, if you don't get your hands on a Shifting Nari Sliver before Wrath, don't sweat it. Forge Ember is fine. And then, of course, we're going with the wand here, the hit wand from Utgard Keep coming off the first boss here. And as you can see, this puts us at 248 hit rating. So we will be eating hit food with this setup. So just keep that in mind. This is a hit food setup. Now... Our uh, phase one bis. Also keep in mind, I'm doing this from an orcs perspective, from horde perspective. So if you are alliance, you do get to have the benefit of dropping uh, an extra 1% hit and optimizing in any way that you see fit otherwise. So just flex um, where needed. Now for the phase one pure setup bis, we are going for four piece T7. Um, the head here, of course, coming from KT. Uh, we're going to be gymming that with chaotic and have a spell haste uh, off to get that um, socket bonus of plus eight haste. Our neck piece. Um, look, let me just address the elephant in the room. This bis list here for affliction locks is probably the most contested bis list of any class in the entire phase. And that's going to be a trend moving forward for the rest of the expansion. Affliction warlocks are just god DPS and also uh greedy bastards who need a bunch of loot and want a bunch of like really contested loot items that's just the nature of the game get used to it uh you either need to be funneled a bunch of loot or you need to purchase a bunch of loot in your gdkps and a lot of this stuff is going to go for an absolute fortune so just be prepared for that there should be a lot of loot drama with the uh, affliction locks as you can expect anyway your best neck is definitely this eoe neck coming from the quest item off of saffron um, we're going with tier shoulders. will be really easy to obtain. Best cloak is the pinnet cloak coming from OS 25. Uh, it's definitely your best and it's very contested. <laughs> uh, we're going with tier chest. Shouldn't be too hard to obtain. We're going with double spell power and spirit enchant. Keep in mind, this is the plus 15 spirit enchant from the burning crusades. So that is a good enchant that is best in slot on affliction warlocks. We aren't using any uh, Wrath of the Lich King enchants on our chest. We're using a burning crusade one, which is fun. Um, our best uh, wrists are definitely unsullied cuffs. Again, 226 eye level coming from OS 25. Very contested wrists. And again, very contested. Turning Tide is our best weapon. All of caster DPS are going to want this. Um, anyone who can use sword, that is, as well as your holy paladins. Although, your holy paladins should hopefully be passing this to you as they can get torch instead. But a lot of people are going to want this. And again, Matriarch Spawn. Pretty decently contested offhand here with Hey Spirit. Um, another good option is going to be Surplus Limb if you need to hit for any reason, but Matriarchs is definitely going to be your best in slot. Uh, we're going with Tier Gloves here. Uh, you can get these from OS25. You can get them from VOA. Our best in slot belt is Leash uh, coming from EOE25. Again, very contested. Hey Spirit spell power. Anything that's Hey Spirit spell power going to be very contested. And again, these pants... 
very contested. 226i level, again, coming from EOE25. You can see a lot of gear from EOE25 being very valuable for you. And even again, Arcanic Tramplers, EOE25, 226i level. Um, these are BOE, so you can expect these to sell for a fortune. Good luck getting them. Good luck getting them. I hope you've saved up the gold. Um, I hope your guild is giving it to you first. And if they aren't, best of luck to you. Uh, your best ring is going to be this ring coming from KT in Nax25. Of course, it's your best. Very contested ring. Thankfully, your second best ring is coming from Endless Valor. So we can easily pick this up, slot it in, and not have to worry about anyone contesting us there. Again, Dying Curse contested. Uh, most important... Um, trinket uh for like every caster in the game because it has a whopping 71 hit rating just super super good um and the proc rate or the proc is just incredible and then of course illustration of the dragon soul coming from uh obsidian sanctum um nothing amazing to say here about illustration other than it's an incredible trinket and you're going to want to get your hands on it and so is literally every other caster and then our best wand is the gemmed wand of the nerubians now, another alternative is getting the KT wand from Nax 10. Um, it might be a little bit easier to obtain for you than the Nax 25 Anubricon hit wand. Uh, just kind of depends if you need the hit or not. As you can see, this hits us right at the 14% threshold, so we are perfectly hit capped. And that is it. You're good to go. Beautiful, done, Affliction Lock Bisless. Please feel free to uh, share this with your friends, share this with your guildies. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Bisslist coming out soon. I obviously do more content than just Bisslist, but this is just kind of uh, the this is the new project that I'm working on is shipping out good Bisslists that people can use for phase one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care, guys. Peace.